Hi guys, it's Ilya Shimming here and I'm going to be showing you how to install the Pike 4 Halo mod for the Ouya. Okay, so without further ado, here we go. I'm going to be try and be as quick as possible here. Uh, I have already got installed a program called uh, FreeArc. Um, I'm just trying to get you a file I can show you that working on. Um, yeah, there's FreeArc. Look, um, when that's installed, you can extract all varied forms of archive, example RAR, ZIP, uh, and so forth. We will be needing something like that. I'm going to be showing you this tutorial um, based on that program. So it's FreeArc. Foxtrot Romeo, Echo, Echo, Alpha, Romeo, Charlie. That is the name of the program, and that's what we'll be using. Okay, so assuming you haven't already downloaded the files, let's go ahead and, tr and, and explain how that works. Okay, so your let's take you to my channel and show you right so we're in my channel now and the video you will be wanting to click on is the Halo for Quake Halo for Ouya Quake 4 mod sorry click on that video I will silent, I'll silence the audio now before it starts playing music etc or voice okay so once you're in there if you go down to show more on my video, it should have Joe Mark 2000's video with links in description. So just click on that. Once you get into that video, you will see a range of downloads. There are four in total. One is the APK, and the other three are the three separate files to make up the game data folder, which is, you know, uh, which are RAR archives or zip archives in one, two, and three names at the end of them so if I go into that probably doesn't make sense to you how I've just explained that but if I go into my downloads folder and show you that right so when you download those four files from that page you then don't need to look at the page anymore you can, you can then come out of that you can just basically extract the number one, the ID one, part one RAR file, just extract that to somewhere. I've used the desktop for this example, so you'd extract. Um, once you click extract, it will be asking you where to drop it. I've just chosen where the three decimals are on the out next to the output directory. Just choose desktop, hit OK, or well, sorry, no, choose desktop, make new folder, and you'd call that new folder whatever you'd like. Whereas I've called it Quake here, I've already done it. Um, so I won't be doing that this time but once you've created that Quake folder make sure it's highlighted in blue and click OK that will then um, take you out of this page and then you'd, you'd be able to click OK here and that would then extract the files into the folder you've just created uh, which would then leave you with a folder which is not named this but ID1 is will be called this folder inside of the game Quake, the folder Quake will be called ID1. You need to change it to QI4Alpha, QI4A, that's Quebec Indigo 4 Alpha. You need to name it to that. And all you do is you right click and copy that entire folder over to your UIA. So in mine it needs to be in ADB mode, I can't, I can't uh, stress that enough, it must be in ADB mode in order to do this and I'm pretty sure it needs to be semi or fully rooted in order to install that application, the Quake 4 game, um, don't quote me on that, it may not be, you can try it by all means but I'm not sure it will work, but basically yes, once we go into, so I'll do that again, once you've, once you've extracted that folder into Quake and you've renamed it to QI4A, you then go to Start My Computer and you'll see your Ouya console with its ADB mode and internal storage. Open that. That internal storage folder is called your root folder or otherwise when people are telling you to install to the root, this is your root for your Ouya. So basically what you do here now is you just right click and paste the folder the the QI4A folder sorry or is it IQ4A it's the QI4A folder yes you just basically you're going to be just copying it and pasting it directly into the root of your UIA storage uh, anything that comes up with a, with a click 
yes or no to skip just select all so it, so it tells it to do it's on all tasks just click yes I'll show you that in a second because that will pop up and ask me in a second uh, right so what I'm going to do while that's then dropping those files there I'm going to just right click and copy on the um, dark places APK you can see I've placed that APK which is one of those four links that I've downloaded in my downloads I've placed that QI4 right here we go just say do this for all files yes that will then continue but anyway QI4A dark places APK right click that and copy it into the download section of your UVA your download root of your UVA so I just click paste and that is in there look it's there highlighted in blue I don't know if you can see that on this program it's root, it is my first time using this program this um, screen capture software so uh, I'll forgive, <laughs> you have to forgive me if there's any errors or any discrepancies with it because I don't know how it works or what it looks like until I play it back um, and there's no way I'm going to be editing that because I'm no master editor, you know, editor like computer graphics editing guy or anything like that so please forgive me about that but yeah as you can see that's in the downloads folder I'm going to go back and look in uh, the root and see if the QI4A is done which it isn't it's still coming down this is all the contents within uh, my downloads on my PC I'm going to close obviously because it, it's just hindering the um, speed process here of the transfer process and also the Quake file that I'm going to close because that's no longer required while it's actually coming down is it so uh, this may take some time it says five hours that's an utter rubbish it won't take five hours it's passing over USB and the UE is very slow at connecting via USB and ADB mode to transfer data to and from the machines so basically it's just you know your, your average generic USB slow down issue it's always been this way with all USB transfer um, the port I'm using on the on the case of the PC is it is USB 3 but the board motherboard is not USB 3 um, compatible inside the PC so I think that probably I don't know if it's upscaling it slightly f to pass over that USB 3 um, point or whether it's um, just going regular speeds but uh, basically we're just waiting for all these files to uh, be transferred to the uh, UIA into that QI4A folder on the UIA uh, after that point with which we'll just install from the download folder on the UIA using an, a file explorer in the UIA menu we should be able to just install from the downloads folder which will display an example Astro file manager uh, or ES file manager once you run that it should then just simply be installed and uh, you just run the game and that's it we are waiting for this, it's very slow, I apologise for that you'd expect more considering the computer is actually a Trinity quad core uh, 3.6 GHz CPU with 8 gig DDR3 RAM and a SSD drive to boot windows off it should run a lot faster than this but as I said it's USB it's a generic thing it's always been a problem to transfer its speed over USB hence the introduction of USB 3 uh, I'm not sure how much faster that is anyway when it's uh, working on the motherboard stroke the case uh, which mine obviously isn't it's not paired it's just one one on one and nothing not it's USB 3 on one and not on the other. The um, UIA itself is just US micro USB, so you can understand it will pass uh, data out of that fast anyway. And it's no high end PC, is it really? It's just a, a 99 pound games console, but for that price, uh, I don't think it's too bad really for the money. And uh, the way it plays this Halo is pretty pretty good to you know, start. I'm pretty sure I found a frame per second rate at one point, and it was saying 60 frames a second. That's exceptional, really, to be playing a game on, on such a small dinky console. You know, with um, mobile graphics, etc. It shouldn't. You know, you wouldn't expect 60 frames a second rates on it. Anyway, enough with that, and we'll just wait for this to complete. Uh, 
after which point we should be good to install which I'll have to switch over to using a mobile phone to record the rest of the video but I will splice it together Okay, so that's done. Inside there you should have all these folders. Okay. Uh, and in download, as I said, you should have your QI4A Dark Places APK. That should match the name of the folder. The first piece should match the name of the folder that we've just named, renamed and dropped there. Okay, so enough with this bit. I'm going to change over to a mobile phone and start recording for the. Uh, phase on the area to explain that for you, okay? Bye.